Real fact 891. Pound cake got its name from the original recipe called for what? A pound of butter. Real fact from Snapple Drinks. You know, if there's one thing I hate in our world today, is apologies. I hate apologies. Not only do apologies suck, but what I hate more is the ideological facades that go along with those apologies. One great example of this is Sharon Osbourne. I made a video about Sharon Osbourne several weeks ago where she mocked and was sexist towards a man who got his genitals mutilated. To be more visual and descriptive, specifically the wife chopped off his penis. Chop, chop, chop. But I've already covered that story, so I don't want to rehash anything. More importantly, I freaking hate apologies. Apologies suck not only because of their ideological facades, but because society tells us to apologize when we don't really mean it. When we do, it's supposed to erase everything we said prior to that event. So I could say on national television, I rape little children for fun, but when people react and get mad at what I said, I simply let others speak for me and then apologize on national television. As if that actually changes the fact that I still rape little children. Last Thursday on the show, we talked about Catherine Q. Becker, the woman making headlines for allegedly cutting off her husband's penis. It was a free-flowing conversation, and we all weighed in. Well, <laughs> no, um, I would like to say something that I do not condone genital <laughs> Look, you want me to start? Yeah. Okay. What I know about Sharon and the ladies at the table is that we really mean no harm when we say things. Sharon is the person who says things, we, make, we all laugh, she, she means no harm by it. You don't, Sharon? Because I'm pretty sure you do. I do think it's quite fabulous. I mean... <laughs> I mean, can you just imagine that thing whizzing around the disposal? That's right, whatever Sharon Osbourne says, you're just supposed to laugh at it. Even if it's sexist and dehumanizing to males. Oh, no, thank yeah, you, you're welcome. Leah. It's It's just, it, I do not condone genital mutilation, and I didn't mean any harm by laughing about it, and I'm sorry that I offended people, because that's not my intention or the intention of this show. It's right. not what we're about. Exactly. Absolutely. So yeah. I apologize. Well said. Thank you. And thank yeah. you for speaking from your heart, Sharon. Thanks. Did you just hear what they said? Listen to that again. And yeah. thank you for speaking from your heart, Sharon. Thanks. Oh, but I almost forgot. I have a penis, and when it's my penis is not erect, I get floppy. It's different, though. It is different. One's floppy and wide. <laughs> up like that. It's easy to do that. So when my penis gets floppy, we can laugh about it on national television and then have my penis chopped off. Do you not see that half-assed grin on her face? A grin between laughter. Thank you for sharing your heart, Sharon. Seriously? You and me both know that that was not a sincere apology. You and me both know that the only reason she apologized is because she got called out on it. And this is the problem that I have with apologies. If Sharon Osbourne gets called on sexism and male mutilation, this is why apologies suck. Because 99% of apologies are insincere and don't mean diddly squat. This is going to be my third time repeating the same phrase. This is an ideological facade in which society and even parents make people do. To share a personal experience, when I was nine years old, I was mocked, ridiculed, and made fun of by a girl. Now, I'm not going to list her name, although I certainly could. But one day, when I was playing freeze tag with my homeschooled buddies, I saw an opportunity and took it. There she was, running breathing heavily, and then she got tagged. She got frozen. And me being the smartass that I was back then and still am today, she was breathing heavily with sweat coming down her face. I looked her in the eyes and I said, you need to lose weight. Oh, I'm not making that up. I said that to her face. I said to her, you need to lose weight because you would be able to run faster. Not only was she offended, but she ran to mommy and daddy and cried her eyes out, which then resulted in a family meeting. I was sat down by my mother and father, and they explained to me that what I said to this girl was wrong. Because I hurt her feelings, and because I called her fat, I had to write a personal apology letter to her and her parents. And of course, me being a nine-year-old boy, I did what my parents told me to do. 
I wrote them, the parents and the daughter, an apology letter. But here's the funny thing. I didn't mean a single word I wrote in cursive writing that my parents made me write out. They made me apologize. Dear so-and-so, I'm sorry for disrespecting you. I'm sorry for mocking you. I'm sorry for this, for this, for this. And then of all things, me writing a note to their parents saying how I'm sorry that I disrespected your daughter. It was wrong that I called her fat. But deep down, it wasn't a true apology. I wasn't sorry for what I said. But still, my parents forced me to write a apology letter, and I really didn't mean it. That is to say, my parents made me do what they thought was right, but in reality, I was actually lying. Yes, I lied to the parents. I said to the parents, I am sorry for calling your daughter fat. When in reality, I still say to this day, she freaking deserved it. Don't get me wrong, I'm not like that anymore, and I don't believe in calling a girl fat, even if she is. I am not like that anymore, although back when I was eight years old, I surely was. If you think I'm blunt now, when I was eight, nine, years old, I was probably the bluntiest little SOB that you would ever meet. The point that I'm trying to make here is that apologies suck, and even in our society and within parenting, we are forced to make false, insincere apologies, and we really don't mean it. And I personally have a problem with that. What would I prefer more than fake apologies? Honesty. I would rather have my wife or girlfriend tell me that she sucked another man's dick than me find out, catch her, and she runs to me saying, Oh, Daniel, I'm so sorry for hurting you. I'm so sorry for what I did. What I did was wrong. And then the following week, she goes right back and does it again. I would rather have her tell me the darn truth rather than try to hide the truth and make some sort of fake apology. Because let's face it, 99%, and I'm just estimating here, but I think my estimation is very, very close. 99% of apologies are fake, insincere, and mean absolutely nothing. Now don't get me wrong, I sometimes do say I'm sorry. I do sometimes apologize to people. But the thing is you need to realize about me is that I will never apologize to you unless I truly mean it. Another personal example is when I got mad at my father. I went up to my father and I called him some pretty profane, nasty names to his face. And I'll be the first to admit that I disrespected my father and should not have said what I did. But after I called him those profane names, my mother walked in my bedroom and sat down and said that I need to apologize to my father. In other words, she wanted me to apologize 30 minutes after I called him those names and after I was still angry and upset at my dad. I looked at my mom right in the eyes and I said to her, no. I will not apologize to my father until I am physically, emotionally, psychologically, every other type of ology there is to related to emotions and feelings to apologize to him. I refuse to apologize to someone until I am ready to honestly say an apology and mean it with 100% sincerity. So if I hurt you and you don't get an apology from me for a month, don't take it personally. I have to work my way up to actually realizing that what I said was wrong, what I did was disrespectful. Most First of all, that I'm truly apologetic for what I did. So to sum this video up, society and parents teach their children to make false apologies. And when people make false apologies, they mean absolutely nothing to me. I prefer honesty rather than false apologies. And most of all, I prefer honest apologies rather than fake apologies. But sadly, this is not the case, and it needs to change. But you know, if you want to make fun of a man's penis getting chopped off and put in a garbage disposal and then saying how fabulous it is, then of course making an insincere apology simply because people are calling you out on what you did, then by all means, Sharon Osborne, I'm so sorry that you had plastic surgery and that you're more ugly than you used to be.